hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and in today's episode we are going to design this beautiful church flyer in which i title it spiritual gathering church flyer and this is the raw design this is the first mock-up and this is the third mock-up and guys i am going to share everything with you including the psd file for this one and then the first mock-up and the third mock-up i'm going to share everything with you so guys that is why i always say that subscribe to this channel like share and then turn on the notification bell so that you receive any update that i post on my channel and guys it's going to be a step-by-step -step approach even a beginner if you're a beginner i recommend this channel and this video for you and trust me after going through all this one after the other or after practicing this you began even with one attempt of graphic design you call you can call yourself a graphic designer yes and then i'm going to make sure that i'll explain everything into details for you to understand and then it's going to be quick and then sharp as well so without wasting much time we need to set up our background so control n to open a new document all right so control n get this interface and then i go to the width is 2000 height 2000 or you can go to add an illustration to go and pick 2000 by 2000 size like this and then give it a title and then i have all the text being have all the details written here ctrl c to copy it and then i'll come and paste this ctrl v to paste it like this and then the size is all 2000 by 2000 resolution is 300 is for social media handle so everything is okay i'll click on create boom then i have this nice interface or the background with me and then before we start we'll have i have oh, i'll be telling you that photoshop covers four key areas first one is what working with the background second one is working with image third one is what working with text or the font and then the last one is working with or adding beauty to the flyer and then let's start with the background so i have this resources file i'll drag this drag it into photoshop photoshop nicely and then control sorry alt and then scale it up like this nicely to cover the uh, the surface like this good press enter and then i'll come to this side and then go to solid colors and then pick all color black yes or you can pick it from this side color black and then that is it so add layer marks to the first one go click on b to activate the brush to set click in the this side inside the thumbnail and then go to the brush has been activated i'm using a soft round brush a soft round brush use bracket open to open up this side and then let me clear this side yes nicely 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 all right so that is done and then we have another thing drag this background nice and then release it in photoshop and then guys always wait for it to load always wait for it all right so perfect is downloading now click on okay then to check it nicely hold alt and then still drag it drag it nicely to cover the entire screen nicely like this uh some still drag it a bit to cover the entire screen now it's covered perfect 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 and then click on enter then go to the blending option and set it to something like uh let's see let's see let's see set the blending option to All right, so you set the blending option to that of color dodge yes color dodge is okay color dodge is okay click enter and then select this and this control j put it in a group and then call it background all right so our background is set and done nicely then the next thing is that we are going to and i think let me bring this down a bit let me bring this down a bit let me bring this down a bit and trust me i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and then we are going to bring the images or oh, first of all we can bring the uh, church logo yeah bring the church logo i put it up like this Control a to select it and then center it this way Control to deselect it and then i'll go to this 
uh, rectangular marking tool and then cut this name okay so i have selected the name nice to control j to duplicate it and then double click this side double click here and then go to color overlay and choose color black no 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 you are supposed to pick the first one double click the side yes and then color overlay and then it turned to color white and that is okay for now let me put those two in a group and then call it what logo nicely 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 then i have to go all right so i've already worked on my 3d text effects yes and then i'll just introduce this nicely and then don't worry i'll give you the 3d text effects it's here yeah it's here and then i'll share it with you for you to be able to write your own text effect and then yeah i just brought it over there and then let me go and pick the next test which is gathering of all saints t on the keyboard then i'll hit here control v to paste it control v to paste it and then let me go to the text character it's a balega font then i'll close here to zero and then increase it to let's say 20 and let me see and 20 seems awesome 20 seems awesome i just want to test if it will fit that side and then if it's too huge i need to reduce the size to something like 15 and i think 15 is okay Control a and then pick this side Control d to deselect it and i think that is awesome that is awesome this and this in a group and then call it theme all right so we are just arranging it we are done with the background we are done with the logo we are done with the theme and then let's go and introduce the image and don't forget i have all of them here drag it in photoshop and then release it nicely like this i use a, 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 a different image for this i'm using a different image for this yeah using a different image for this and then just adjust it or position it at the center nicely like this and then let's see let's see let's see let's see let's add a layer mask click inside the layer mask activate b to activate the brush tool and then let me clear the down here let me clear the down here yeah let me clear the down here let me clear the down here you brush it yeah to make it very very nice and then if in case you have time to input their names you can input them nicely like this so for the purpose of tutorials in case you just want to input name let me go here and then activate t on the keyboard to activate the test tool and then hit here and then let's say reverend reverend prince friends let's say um yawson yes reverend prince yawson then if this is the name then let me go here to 10 and then just uh, uh let's see you go here and then no better still i can do it this way and then let me just open here up let me open here up to something that of let me close this side a bit and then 10 is okay and let me open here up okay so we have we are done with the first name that is we use a width um width then that is um taken by watches and then the name reverend prince yasen we use a balega font and then we just just we just give a color code to this and if you want to copy ctrl j to duplicate it and use the arrow sign to push it to this side and might push it to this side to get the second name then duplicate it use drag push it to this to get the third name push it to this side to get the fourth name and then assuming that we want to change this side you just double click it and then print is maybe done so done so uh yeah just we are just using any name oh yeah we are just using any name then we just done here and then we use uh, yeah daniel button and then we use reverend steven reverend steven i'm watching yes these are the names that we are giving it ourselves yes 
this is our name we are giving it ourselves and then that is it so this becomes names and images names uh, names and then images all right so that is done and set nicely so names and images is done then the next thing is that we are just going to draw a rectangle go to this rectangular marking tool and then pick a rectangle and then draw a nice rectangle beneath like this and then you give it this color code yeah you give it this color code yeah you give it this color code the color should be equivalent to that of the colors from the golden the spiritual gathering yes pick it from there then control a to center it at the center control d to deselect it nicely like this and then that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome let's pick this location control c to copy it hit here t on the keyboard hit anywhere control v to paste it and then we can change it to color white or color black purposely let's use black for the meantime you select it and then push it on top of this awesome 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 and then we are going to use Montserrat font we are going to use Montserrat font we are going to use Montserrat font and Montserrat let's use bold something like this let's go and pick the details again ctrl c to copy it hit here we hit where here here yeah ctrl v to paste it and that is it that is it that is it that is it let's see with this detail let's increase the size or we can make it bold uh it's already bold so let's use extra bold yeah just to make sure it's good 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 this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome then go and pick the next details which is this ctrl c to copy it and then let's duplicate these details here double click it ctrl v to paste it and then we are almost done we are almost done let's open up here and this is awesome this is awesome go and pick this ctrl c to copy it duplicate this using alt and then drag using alt and drag double click it ctrl v to paste it and that is that that is that we just cut this ctrl x and then we duplicate this double click it ctrl v to paste it and then we are going to make sure that we change this side from extra bold to something medium good 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 and with the medium let's reduce the size let's reduce the size to 10 is okay 10 is okay 10 is perfect 10 is perfect too 10 is perfect too so we just position it this way and then that is that that is that i think we have a details of these icons drag this over here and then that is for the time for the time for the time let's position it time you go this way yeah position it this way and then press enter and then push it down a bit push it down using the arrow keys so let me double click at the edge here and then i go to gradient uh, sorry solid color and then solid color you pick color white pick color white it's on yellow yeah it's on yellow so therefore the color we pick must be white so that it can be visible if you pick black too it's awesome but we are using too much black that's why we decided to pick white in order to match the colors and then let's go and pick the location icon again drag it into photoshop and then hold alt to reduce the size hold alt and then scale it down this way and then let me pick it it's color black and then it's conflicting over here control h to hide the guys and then let me pick it this way and then bring it here nice to use the arrow keys to adjust it and then do, go and double click at the edge this side and then still pick solid air so color overlay and that is that that is that so let me put this and then and this push it to this a bit yes and then this should go here 
and then let's see the time and date do i have it here and if i don't have it here i'll just quickly go this side and go and pick them this is it i'll just drag sorry 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 this i'll just drag it to this side and then i'll paste it here boom nicely Control x is this what i want awesome 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 so this and that control g and then call it what details or text yes text best fits what i want so you see all everything has been grouped everything has been grouped nicely everything has been grouped and then when we are done we are not done totally we drag this and then we release it all right so it said click okay and then check it this way scale it up to cover the entire screen press enter and then blending option let's see some blending option that will fit this and i think this is awesome so soft like is okay then i'll add layer mask go here to add layer mask inside the layer mask be on the keyboard inside b to activate and then let me clear this side let me clear this side let me clear this side and then inside the image and i want that texture to be inside i want that texture again you go to this and then drag this down and then you release it nicely so it's done click on ok and then alt and then hold here to scale it up nice to cover the entire screen yeah press enter and then blending option again blending option again let's set a blending option for it so just test the blending option and see the one that will be okay for you the one that will be okay for you and then you pick that one and in testing the main options i think um, what's your suggestion what's your suggestion what's your suggestion what's your suggestion and i think this is awesome click okay and then add layer mask again be on the keyboard to activate the the brush tool and let me clear inside this a bit and guys i think that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome and i think i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay i am okay so this and this and then call it what glue uh glue yes if you hide it then you are getting this if you close it or bring it back and then this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so guys this is how we were able to achieve this beautiful um graph uh, um, um, church flyer in photoshop and guys trust me all the mock-up i'm going to share it with you this and then this and then that is it and i'm going to share the free psd file as well i'm going to share the free psd file for you to download and then practice it for free if you are done practicing it you can send it to me on my channel and then we have a um, whatsapp platform in which you have been discussing graphic design and then graphic design related content on it you can send it to me on my whatsapp channel and then let's look at how you are practicing the work and then for those of you who want the free psd file again just go ahead and download it and then edit them and then use it for free without wasting much time thank you very much for subscribing thank you for very much for commenting and then i love you i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now i'm out